Welcome back to Fox 51 today. February is American Heart Month, and Lewis and Peach's Owen Heart Hospital of Trinity Mother Francis is hosting events all across East Texas to raise awareness for heart disease in women. Deb Taylor is Chief Nursing Officer of the Lewis and Peach's Owen Heart Hospital, and she's here to tell us more about this. Okay, so tell us about some of these events that you're hosting across East Texas. Yeah, absolutely. I'm super excited. So the way the Lewis and Peaches Owen Heart Hospital likes to celebrate American Heart Month is by increasing awareness of heart disease and specifically women's heart disease. So we want women in East Texas to know that heart disease is the number one killer of women. Um, in fact, we lose a woman to heart disease every single minute. Hmm. That's profound. That um, so we're going to be holding events every Tuesday night through the um, month of February um, to increase awareness of women's heart disease. We invite everyone to come out and join us. Um, next Tuesday we'll be at um, Green Acres. Okay. And um, we start at 5:30 in the evening with a delicious heart healthy meal. Um, we will um, feature and honor women who have triumphed over heart disease and they come up and bravely share their stories with us. Um, we'll be doing a presentation and providing information on women's heart disease and teaching women how they can protect themselves. And then the best part of the program is that they get some really good time with our physicians mm -hmm. and time to ask the physicians questions that they may have about how to protect themselves. Oh, well, I'm sure that'll be a, a really good thing for a lot of people out there. Is there anything or any particular things that make uh, the issue maybe different in women than men per se or is it are usually the factors leading up to a man's heart disease similar to women's? Well, the actual disease is the same, sure. um, but I think what we're challenged with is that we've always kind of thought of it as a man's disease. Yeah. Um, so, you know, for a long time, we've we've seen images of, of men having heart attacks and clutching their chest and getting pale and sweaty, and um, women just don't think of it as mm. our primary disease, and it is. It's mm. the number one killer of women. It is our greatest health risk, but only about 20% of us know that. Mm. So well. we're trying to increase that awareness and also help women know that sometimes if we're having a heart attack, ours presents a little bit different than men. Um, now, you know, you were saying it presents a little bit different than men. Is, are there some ways that you can tell us about that right now? Absolutely. So, you know, I mentioned that sometimes men will clutch their chest and have really bad chest pain and get pale and cold and sweaty. Yeah. We as women don't always do that. Um, our symptoms are sometimes a little bit um, nondescript and that sometimes it's stomach upset, mm. maybe some indigestion. We may be short of breath or we may be profoundly fatigued and tired. Okay. Um, the fatigue and, you know, because sometimes we say, oh, I'm kind of tired all the time, but the fatigue is such that you don't even want to go and cook dinner. Well, that is, that's very interesting. Um, now, are there some recommendations that you have for women out there to keep their hearts healthy? You bet. So there's risk factors. So there's some risk factors that we have no control over, such as our, our age and our heredity. Um, but the good news is, is that there are several risk factors that we do have control over. Things such as managing our blood pressure, managing a healthy weight, knowing our cholesterol levels and keeping our cholesterol levels um, low. Exercising. Exercising is one of the best things that we can do that actually helps with most of the risk factors mm -hmm. and managing our stress. Mm -hmm. Well, awesome. Really important information. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, coming up next.